Great. My name is Liza Birkin. I want to thank you for hearing our voices tonight. Our voices have been systematically shut out of this process, so thank you. Um, while I live in Providence now, I used to live in Newport without a car. And I witnessed the capital improvement project to the bus hub there after Hurricane Sandy, which is now a much more resilient and inviting bus hub where you can go to the bathroom, wait under shelter if it's raining or snowing, and where the green infrastructure softens the blow of storm surges. But if I wanted to go visit my mom in Narragansett on the weekend, I would have to hitchhike over the bridge with my bike to the, the Saunderstown Park and Ride, which is just a parking lot with no bathroom, water, shelter. The vast majority of the bus infrastructure in Rhode Island looks like Saunderstown, not Newport or even what's in Kennedy Plaza today. And this is what the voters had in mind when the state approved the transit bond in 2014 to improve bus access and capital improvements for bus hubs throughout the state. How many times do we have to say that? That is the language of the bond. These funds were not intended to be solely spent in downtown Providence. This is a misuse of public funding. But if they are to be spent in downtown Providence, it's completely unacceptable to be doing construction for a planned two years in the jewelry district while the main part of Kennedy Plaza is shut down. We know that construction projects last a lot longer than planned. And the way this is structured, we know that people who ride the bus will be without basic dignities like bathrooms and shelters for at least two years, as they have been since the beginning of COVID-19. Folks who have been begging the city and RIPTA to change this, to open the bathrooms with zero action. It's inhumane and it's backwards. The RIDOT needs to be asking riders what they need, not telling them they're splitting up the central bus hub and doing construction for three years around the city. Everything about this process has been backwards. We still don't know which specific bus routes are planned to go to which hub, although RIDOT talks about things as if they already know. And how could public outreach possibly be completed when that routing information is not yet public? Yeah, right? uh, okay, the city council doesn't have decision-making power, but you can support and amplify the community's message. So please bring this resolution back to the full council and pass it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony.